Hello and welcome to the Music Cell. I'm Tim and this is uh, day three of my 30-day uh, vinyl challenge. Today I have another uh, four albums that I haven't listened to before from my uh, uh, vinyl collection or at least uh, I don't think I've listened to them. There's, one, there's only one that I'm not sure of but I don't think I have. And uh, today Today's uh, that I listened to, y'all notice that uh, our display of my eclectic taste in music because these are from all over the board. The, these were that I've uh, selected. I just don't have any of the anything from my hard rock albums in with these. With that said, I'll uh, start with start off with the, the first one. The first one is uh, one I got. I can't think it, yeah, I got it earlier this year at a Salvation Army, if I remember right. It's Fleetwood Max uh, Mystery from uh, Timmy. It's from 1973 on uh, Reprise Records. Uh, it's a, uh, I was, uh, I really like this one. This one is after Danny Kerwin left the band, and it's, uh, it's only the second one I have uh, that's uh, before uh, Lindsay. Lindsey Buckingham and Stevie Nicks joined the band. Uh, and uh, I'm, I uh, really like Bear Trees. That was around my favorite before this one. Not, now I'd say this is probably my favorite one. It's, it all has some of a uh, blues sound to it, it, but it also has a pop sound to it because that uh, Bob Welch had brought to the band. And... Uh, I was uh, surprised by the next to the last song on uh, uh, side two, which isn't listed on the cover, and uh, also not listed on this lyrics uh, card. This is a card, not a sheet. This is a card that came with it. And the next to the last song's not li listed down here either. They do a cover of uh, For Your Love on here. Which is a song I like, and I thought they did a pretty good uh, job on that cover. Next up is some classic country. This is uh, I'm from uh, Mark Doctor Deadwax. He sent me it uh, a little under a year ago. He's uh, one day in the I got. In the mail, I got a big box of vinyl from him. It had uh, 60 albums in it, most of it country. This, uh, a lot of it classic country. This was uh, one of them that was in it. It's a 2LP set. Like I said, it's classic country. It has a lot of old tits in it. Uh, I enjoyed listening to it today. And uh, like I said, this is a, I think this is the first time I listened to it. I don't remember listening to it before. And... Uh, there's one song that, that I liked. He does a cover of uh, the Beatles song Yesterday on here, which, which he does a pretty good job covering it. Uh, it does uh, say, uh, it does uh, stereo, but it also says down like, down in this corner here, you can't see it because it's so small. It says, uh, electronic recorder to simulate stereo. But I enjoyed listening to it. Okay, this next one. I know I had that to listen to before. I heard over half the songs before because they were all hits. It's from 1986 on Motown. The the uh, reason why I know I hadn't listened to it before, I bought it over a year ago. It was Dell and Shrink. Bought it at a Salvation Army. Okay, it was sitting out in my collection all this time, selling the shrink. I broke the seal today. The album is Lionel Richie. Dancing on the ceiling. 
Like I said, it's from 86 on Motown. And it yes, it has a hit Dancing on the uh, Dancing on the Ceiling and Sela or Sela. Ballerina Girl, Deep River Woman, Love Will Conquer All, and Say You You Have Say Me on here. I just enjoy this album. Like you notice, I had to, okay the Fleetwood Mac, which is pretty much uh, blues or uh, blues or blues rock. Ray Price, classic country, and now 80s pop uh, R&B. Oh, this the last one I forgot to pull it over here with the others. It's from 64 on Command Records. Easy listening lounge music. It's Ray Charles uh, Singers. Something special for young lovers. Like I said, this is uh, easy listening lounge music. They do stuff like I, I left my heart in San Francisco, and there I said it again, and Dominique, Hello Dolly, uh, Charade or Charade. But it, it, it was fun listening to also. It's on Command Records, and just when I get in like the uh, lounge or easy listening mood, it's a uh, good album to listen to. It's, uh, and I did some checking on this. Uh, it's, uh, I have a few other albums I picked up by the Ray Charles singers I had, still haven't listened to either, but there are no, no, uh, there's no connection between them and uh, Ray Charles, uh, blind uh, piano player and singer. Uh, I did some checking on that, that today. But, uh, it was a. Uh, I enjoyed listening to this album. Uh, well, that's uh, that's all I have for this time, uh, for for today. I enjoyed all these uh, today. So uh, until tomorrow, so, uh, take it easy and keep on rocking. <laughs>